Hi, welcome back to Genesis Custom Sabers, and I uh, wanted to show you something that I've been working on recently. Uh, it's a blade plug. Now, a lot of people have been uh, developing blade plugs recently to put in their saber so that uh, you can, uh, for display purposes, and also to, uh, to for protection so that when you turn the saber on, um, the LEDs that we use in these sabers are bright enough to, to cause eye damage if you look directly in. So there's always a warning on your saber, don't look directly into the saber, don't shine it in anyone's eyes. So people have developed uh, blade plugs. Um, to put in the blade, that's something that looks like it belongs in the saber, um, but also uh, accomplishes the result. And I've kind of toyed with the idea of a blade plug for a while, and this is one I've been working on. It, um, it's uh, it's meant particularly for display. Here it is in my Bane Saber original. I'll show you what it looks like in my ascent. I turn the saber on, and you can see a little bit of light escapes out of the tip. Um, not very much, but it still looks really cool. You can definitely look directly into that, and it's not going to cause any problem. Um, but uh, one of the things that this blade plug does that, that is new that I've developed is if you release the blade uh, retention screw, a blade plug pops out and uh, you can see it's lit by the, by the LED of the blade, um, which is really bright. And this is e very easy and comfortable to look at, but it looks like a power gate. Um, so you can see the blade. And, uh, of course, this is my Jaina font. Uh, in this saber, but uh, so any of the flickering of the blade, you can see that effect in the power gate um, there, and you can see, of course, the uh, little bit of illumination through the tip. Uh, of course, you can pull the whole thing out, but it's spring loaded so that you can slide it into your saber, tighten it there so you can use the saber, swing it around, it's not going to fall out, but, anyways, it spring loads and pops out, and uh, you can display it like that. I'll show you what it looks like in a different saber. Of course, this is one of my Ascend Sabers, and uh, you notice with the Bane Saber, it doesn't extend all the way in. Well, the Ascend Saber's got a much deeper blade socket, so it extends quite uh, quite deep in there. Of course, this is a green saber. You can see the green illumination in the blade plug. And uh, when I, I'll show you when I release the blade screw, it pops out um, different you know blades that might fit a little bit different, or blade uh, holders that might fit a little differently in. The effect is the same, it catches the color of the blade and shows through the through the power gate there. Now you can also take apart this uh, this uh, blade plug and uh, remove the, the shoulder screws there and replace the power gate that I've, I've made from nylon washers with, uh, with a crystal. If you don't have a crystal in your saber you could make a really convincing crystal chassis that sits in display mode on your saber. But anyways, that's what I was thinking of with this uh, with this spring-loaded blade plug. Um, I don't think I'll be making these for sale simply because my initial projections uh, are that it would cost about $60 a pop to produce these for sale, and I don't think anyone's really interested in paying $60 for a blade plug. Uh, but if I'm wrong, I may be convinced to, to put these on the, the Genesis Custom Sabers sale page at some point in the future. Just wanted to show you how it works. So thanks for watching.